It is the 26th of the 11th, 2011, and this is tonight's climate change update. You're watching my thousandth video. Can you believe that? And uh, so I decided to bring back the backdrop. If anybody remembers, uh, there's the goose. The piece title is called Three Warriors or Three African Warriors. It's a nice tapestry I picked up not too long ago and I used to display as a backdrop uh, for my longtime viewers. Um, I got me a hand-me-down coat today from my older brother and uh, I figure I'll never wear this anywhere else so I might as well start doing reports and look a little more respectable. So uh, bear with me folks and um, thanks for all your support over all this time in lieu especially of what just happened. So let's go to Sop.net tonight and let's get started. Other headline story, Japan. TEPCO says radioactive substances belong to landowners, not to them. So here we go, the lawyers are at play. During court proceedings concerning a radioactive golf course, Tokyo Electric Power Company stunned lawyers by saying the utility was not responsible for decontamination because it no longer owned the radioactive substances. So apparently there's free plutonium spread throughout Japan. <sighs> Buy now when supplies last. Uh, U.S. Texas Goosebrook Mayor town will run out of water in two weeks. Now they've had to get a special permit to run a pipeline through a, a state or a federal park, I believe, um, to pull water out of a rock quarry. So uh, they are in desperate means for sure, and the drought um, is just continues. Still got reports out of Mexico, and uh, it goes on and on. Indonesia, the Anak Krakatoa volcano ab about to blow? Question mark. Indonesia's Mount Anak Krakatoa volcano has been puffing white smoke the last few days, and the scientists are warming locals and tourists to keep away. That could mean that the long-suspected eruption of the world's most famous volcano could be imminent. Yet again, uh, decontamination work at homes in Fukushima not going well as radio as radiation lingers, and you got to remember these guys can't get them down to the inflated numbers, uh, post Fukushima numbers on radioactivity exposure. Uh, second earthquake of the day shakes northern Japan. Two strong earthquakes rattled northern Japan on Thursday, but neither caused any apparent damage or a tsunami. A tsunami. And again, the, the, these major quakes continue. And that's about all they have new tonight. Um, over to the extinction protocol. They've got like two stories I want to cover. Columbia, uh, Galeras volcano raised to level orange alert. Uh, the volcano in Colombia's western department uh, could erupt within weeks or days, according to authorities. The level of volcanic activities increased to orange alert on Thursday at 9 p.m. by the Colombian Geological Service and the Volcanology and Seismology Observatory in Patsto. And, of course, they got all the economy stuff going on. Where's this other one? Newfoundland hit, Newfoundland hit with record November snowfall. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like winter in Newfoundland. A stormy system has brought significant amounts of snow to the island. In fact, Thursday was a record-breaking day of, for snowfall at St. John's. At least 29 centimeters has fallen in the city. And at one point, the snow was falling at the rate of 6 centimeters per hour. And of all the chaos that that entails. Uh, over to the RSOE tonight. Again, uh, ongoing drought. Uh, this report's coming out of Mexico. Um, multi-provinces um, that just severe heat and drought and they're having water problems as well uh, got a, a earthquake swarm in El Salvador area uh, they're on alert people are starting to uh, like start to tent out in their yards instead of hanging out in their houses they have like 700 quakes in the last month and uh, these the big quakes that happened not too long ago um, five ten years ago are still fresh in the people's minds kind of thing. Uh, extreme weather in Sri Lanka, uh, flooding of course. Uh, Nova Scotia wide, uh, got a big snowstorm rolling through. They're saying they're having a hard time cleaning up and uh, bear with them. Uh, 
We've got a big drought in Zimbabwe, uh, Africa. They're saying there was uh, at least 200 elephants deaths in this huge national park and that the elephants are actually so desperate for water that they're literally fighting off the other animals, uh, which is causing further uh, drought devastation uh, in their national park down there. And uh, they've got the nuclear vent out of um, the Europe where they've had the, the iodine-131 um, cloud that was rolling through. Um, they're still blaming uh, Hungary, I believe, uh, but the Pakistanis were saying that um, because they were blaming about a, a hard water leak at this one plant and the Pakistanis are saying no that can't be it because uh, it takes fusion for the iodine-131 to to produce and the hard water is full of uh, trillium I believe so uh, the Pakistanis are saying uh, don't buy uh, what uh, the EU is telling you and uh, finally um, e ENE news tonight is down I can't get the link up um, and I know you're watching me so uh, Give me a heads up on what's going on there. I do have somewhere else to take you. Uh, it's the EXSKF blog site. Um, very reliable and dependable news source that I've been using for quite some time now. Uh, they have a story, Radiation in Japan, Southern Miyagi's Disaster Debris May Be Too Radioactive. After the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, government merely signed an agreement with uh, the prefecture to accept radioactive disaster debris and burn it in regular incinerators operated by municipal governments all over Tokyo. A Miyagi prefecture announces that some of the disaster debris may be too radioactive when burned. So, question mark, mix and burn or just send it to Governor Shahara. He won't care, even if the residents may. He will be happy to receive the highly radioactive ashes and bury them away in the Tokyo Bay. Mix and bury is the, the, the word of the day in Japan. So uh, they, are, they are burning highly radioactive material and sending this into the atmosphere. And what they're doing with this um, radioactive um, ash waste is burying it in Tokyo Harbor. So basically Japan has become this huge tea bag of radioactive debris seeping into the Pacific Ocean, uh, which has already crossed the international dateline, uh, according to stories I've reported on earlier. Um, so buckle up, we are in for a long ride with this one. Uh, more reports of radioactive rice. Uh, they're saying up to 30% of the crop, uh, but uh, they're feeding it to the people anyway. And... That is about it um, that I have for you tonight. Again, uh, if I missed anything, please leave your comment or attach your videos below. Um, I do appreciate all your support, and this being my 1,000th video, um, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, it was it amazes me still today uh, how everything worked out. So uh, let me know what you think of the jacket. Should it be a permanent thing? Uh, get used to the tie-dye backdrop. Uh, that is going to be a permanent thing unless I can find a tapestry that I like better and uh, mix and match, that kind of thing. But uh, have fun today. Enjoy it while you can. And I'll catch you next time, everybody. Thanks.